I'm here with Kaylin Anderson from the Cougar women's tennis team. Kaylin is the Cougar Athlete of the Week for her performance this week, winning a singles match and two doubles matches. Kaylin, before we get to talking about this week, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Kaylin Anderson. I am currently a junior studying elementary education with a minor in theology. I'm from Northwest Indiana. I graduated from Whiting High School, and this is my first year on the tennis team. Now, as the first year on the tennis team, we also had to talk about right away you were just a doubles player when you had played before. Now you're jumping into singles, you're having success. What's it like to kind of be there by yourself and be your own team out there against another opponent? Yeah, it's a lot different. I really, in high, all through high school I played doubles and I really enjoy playing doubles because I like having someone else out there. Um, it sounds really odd, but it makes me put less pressure on myself. Um, so playing singles is a lot different. I didn't have any of the strategy, any of the ground strokes, none of the play of a singles player, and coaches worked really hard to convert me from a doubles player to a singles player, just like he's converted a lot of us from being other sport athletes into tennis players. Now, obviously, you did play another sport here at CUC a couple of years ago. Now you've kind of adjusted to play tennis. How has you been able to kind of keep your training translated the athleticism that you needed to play volleyball to be successful on the tennis court? Yeah, so it's a lot of the same overhead motions. Now, I, as you know, I stopped playing volleyball because I had a shoulder injury and I couldn't have a lot of those overhead rotations anymore. Tennis is a lot different because we use a lot of um, motions to the side and to the back. There's still overhead motions, but a lot fewer, a lot less strain and pressure on my shoulder. But um, a lot of it is a, the lateral movement is very similar. Um, jumping, which coach always tells me not to jump, but I jump a lot. Um, and when I was in high school, I played tennis too, and it, it was a very easy transition for me. Now, we got to talk a little bit about Howard in this first year. How has it been being in a new sport, new coach? How has the team kind of gelled, and how do you think the team has really come along this season? Yeah, well, for me, it was a really easy transition. I didn't expect it to go this smoothly from volleyball to no sport last year into tennis this year. It's been a really smooth transition, and I think Coach has been very accommodating, and he's been very helpful to a lot of us. Um, we have a few girls who are in music, and some girls work, so he's been very flexible with the practice schedule, and he works really hard to make sure that he's there for all of us when we need it to be. Well, we'd like to congratulate you on your fantastic week, but before we get out of here, we'll get a little rapid fire in just so everybody can get to know you a little bit better. Your favorite color? Purple. Favorite food? Ice cream. Favorite sports team? Uh, the Blackhawks. Someone who you look up to and why? Um, my sister, because she's someone that can always make me laugh, and she's a lot more athletic than me and a lot more positive and really funny, and I just want to be like her, even though she's younger than me. <laughs> uh, who can make you laugh the best on the team? Um, probably Paige Brown. She's so funny, and Coach always likes to get on her about silly things, so she can always make all of us laugh. And finally, best or most funny coach moment with Howard this year? Um, it was our first match. I think we were going to Aurora. Don't quote me on this. I don't know where we were going, actually. And it was the first time Coach ever drove a university van, and we're going to back out a physical plant, and he puts it in neutral. And then he's like, why isn't this thing bagging up? And he revs the <laughs> engine completely, goes pedal to the metal, and we're all like, oh my goodness, Coach. And on the same drive, he ran over a curb and parked he parked like between, so cars need to back up. He parked right in the middle so no cars could back up and get out. So he's a great driver. <laughs> so needless to say, he might not be driving the school vans after this interview. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Congratulations on a fantastic week. Good luck in your final week of the 2016 season. Thank you.